Welcome watch lovers. Today we're looking at the Pagani Design PD1718. It's an homage to the Tudor Black Bay Chrono. And here we have it in both the Panda Dial and the Reverse Panda Dial. Because who doesn't like pandas? First we'll talk about the specifications. We have Sapphire Crystal. We have a ceramic insert on the bezel, which is uh, uh, different as you might expect it to be aluminum, but it is, is in fact ceramic. We have the signature Tudor style snowflake hands. We have loomed markers and hands, and we have a contrasting subdial. The case is made of stainless steel that is primarily brushed for uh, the lugs as well as the side of the case. But there is some polishing both on the chamfer on the side as well as where the bezel insert meets the body. The bracelet is brushed on the top, but the sides are mirror polished. We have a fully milled clasp, and there is the notorious uh, diver's extension that is basically a pressed metal but made out of stainless steel. I'm sure many of you are curious about the sort of the comparison between the Daytona homage and the Black Bay Chrono homage. So here I have these side by side. While there is a half a millimeter difference uh, between the case diameters, the Black Bay Chrono homage feels like it has a much smaller case dimensions and looks like a smaller wa uh, watch. In addition, we have sort of the comparison here between the uh, reverse panda dials and the, and the black Daytona homage. One of the other differences on the dials, uh, other than the hands and the general layout, is the actual uh, material of the the dial, the dial itself, the black dial itself, it's more of a matte finish on the Black Bay Chrono homage, and it's a polished, um, kind of enamel looking on the Daytona homage. And here we have kind of the white enamel here, and the Black Bay Chrono has much more of a sort of silver speckling to it, uh, kind of a silver sheen on it that you can see kind of in the macro photos at the beginning of the video. This piece has a Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz movement in it. Uh, they've opted not to reveal the date window here at the six o'clock position, which the movement has. Uh, Tudor did include that, but Guy Design decided to and not include that. Uh, the crowns are screwed down, therefore you have to unscrew the crowns uh, on the pushers to activate the chrono movement. The top movement activates the chronograph function. And with the mecha quartz movement, you'll see that it has a fairly clean and smooth sweep to it. And another push of the top will stop the second hand movement and push the bottom will spring right back, right to the 12 o'clock position. Of course, this being a chronograph function, uh, some people do complain, of course, that the snowflake hands are large and can obstruct the reading of the subdials at uh, certain times of the day, of course. Um, and while it might be a valid uh, point, I think the trade-off for the snowflake hands uh, is, is a welcome one. And I certainly appreciate uh, the legibility and quick reading of snowflake hands personally. I received the version two of this piece and you can see that it has the Pagani Design logo on the case back along with Pagani Design and PD1718 indicating the reference number for this particular piece. It's rated at 100 meters water res resistance. Uh, well, of course I have not tested that. I would certainly only potentially trust that if the screw down crowns are in the lockdown positions. It has female end links, so it will fit a little bit more snugly against your wrist. You can measure the weight of the piece.
And for those that are curious, the Daytona homage is about 132 grams um, size for my seven and a half inch wrist. Let's see the kit diameter is about 39 and a half. And one of the nice things about this model versus uh, Tudor Black Blade Kroner is the uh, thickness of the case is actually less um, on this homage watch versus the, the Tudor, which is a thicker piece. 20 millimeters here for uh, straps that you could potentially swap out and measuring the lug to lug, trying to take into account female in links somewhere in the 48 millimeter range or so. Hope you found this look into this watch useful and please uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of content.